at one point, I think my mom was going through like a midlife crisis. She just decided to sort of, um, to sort of leave. To this day, we really don't know where she went, but she just sort of took off and left me with, you know, me and my sister with my stepdad. And, and so it was definitely weird. You know, it definitely makes you question if you're doing something wrong, if your family's doing something wrong, or what the deal is. You know, at the time, it didn't really make too much sense to us. You know, to this day, I kind of just remember that that moment in time. It was for like a, <clears throat> it was only for like two or three weeks or something like that. But, but you know, she came back. I, obviously, my sister and I were pretty bummed and stuff. We were stoked to kind of have her back. And um, you know, she's your mom, or it's your mom. You know, you can't you can't hate her. You know what I mean? Like she's been through so much like for me and stuff like that and um, we've gone through so much together that you know you got to kind of try to you know try to forgive and try to understand when you're that young you don't really understand now I you know I, I get it more um, than I did when I was a kid obviously so um, you know it was hard but like forgiveness was definitely like a, a key you know to getting that relationship back to what it was so anytime you're hurt by somebody anytime somebody you love does something to upset you or bum you out or whatever else it is it takes a while. It takes a while to to heal up and to forgive and to let that person back in your life. I feel like I sort of uh, didn't let anyone get close. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I had my best friends and that was it. And uh, to this day, I'm kind of like that where I, I have a very small circle. And it's just a life experience, you know? It's a life experience and I, you know, I'm a pretty loving, uh, gregarious dude. Like I talk to everyone, but there's only a few people that can really get, get you know, super close. And I think that's probably one of the major, th major uh, points in my life that sort of made me that way. So it was r not really steady girlfriends or anything like that. It was more like hanging out with you know different girls here and there, maybe wanting that affection, but not wanting. Uh, you know, that commitment, that relationship, not wanting anything like that to happen to me. That's kind of how I would just handle things, you know, you just don't return calls, and you're like, oh, I don't want that person to get close to me. So, to this day, my mom's funny. To this day, she'll bring it up, and, and she'll be like, I'm so sorry about that time, and I'm like, dude, you know, you're my mom, who cares? You know, like, we, we've moved on, and she's still trying to make it up, you know? But for me, it's like, everything's fine. Yeah, forgiveness is more like a sucking up your pride, at least for me, where I'm very prideful. And uh, I think that's like one of, you know, the things I'm trying to work on. And so, you know, to, to forgive somebody, um, you have to suck up your pride. You gotta, you know, you gotta realize, you know, somebody messed up and bummed you out or whatever else, like, it's not the end of the world. We're all humans, you know, we all make mistakes. Obviously, like, we all make wrong choices. If someone has the guts, you know, enough and the heart enough to, to ask for your forgiveness, then, but you know, by all means, you, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to forgive that person, you know. You can't hang, you can't let that dwell with you for the rest of your life, it, it'll eat you like a cancer, so. Now, I, I like to help, uh, you know, other people that might be going through something similar, might not know how to, uh, forgive or might not know how to ask for forgiveness and really you know suck up their pride and realize what they've done wrong so um, yeah I, I give back just by <laughs> like, you know just by reaching out but I definitely think about you know the things that went wrong in my life that could have been avoided uh, I you know just want to try not to do that <laughs> you know like I'm trying to do the opposite and um, that's not saying that anyone's life is perfect and there's going to be mistakes that are made and there's going to be wrong decisions that are made and, and things that are said that, that aren't meant. But um, I'm going to try my hardest to you know, not let that happen.